On this episode, we talk footpaths. All right, guys, welcome back for another Simone TV episode. I'm glad to have you back again. What I want to cover today is footpaths around the outside of your home. Now, obviously, if it's going to be an investment property or it's a property you're going to be living in, there's going to be a bit of difference in the way you want to uh, do the footpaths around the outside of your home. Now, what you want to do, guys, you really want to understand how you're going to be using the side of your home. Now, are you going to be using it as storage? Uh, how exactly do you want it to be used? Now, my best recommendation would be to be concrete footpaths because it is the most convenient, but yes, it is also the most expensive. Now, you gotta think, guys, are you going to be uh, walking your clothes to the clothesline, then concrete footpaths definitely easier to walk on, will your bins, will your lawnmower, so it's the most practical, easy to keep clean, um, so that's, that's my top recommendation. Now, you also have other options, as in uh, rocks, but uh, once again, it's very hard to kind of maneuver around the side of your home, and it's also very hard to wheel the wool barrows and the lawnmowers onto, um, even if you do put some uh, paths, sorry, some pavers on there, um, this still makes it a bit hard. So my recommendation, guys, is definitely concrete footpaths. Concrete is the most expensive. Rocks and grass are your cheaper alternatives. All right, guys, so if you know somebody who needs to understand a little bit more about the footpaths around the outside of their home, then definitely tag them in the comments below. And also, I'd love to know what you did around the outside of your home. Did you do concrete? Did you do... If you have anything you want me to cover on upcoming Simone TVs, then leave them in the comments as well. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Simone TV. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.